I too made the mistake of using a title slide. <laughs> now what I'm saying here is to date your customers. I'm not advocating sleeping with your customers, even though the image may suggest it. The hashtag is there, V7 is my company. So, my name is Owen Barrow, and I have a problem, and I have a confession. The problem is that I think about UX far too much. From using my coffee machine, to train tickets, to basically anything I see problems in. Now, my confession is, well, it's more like a dirty secret. I use Tinder, and I used it a lot. <laughs> I used to think of Tinder as a matchmaking service, but then I kind of thought about it from a UX perspective. And I was like, well, how can I tell a brand story? How can I get people to engage with me? And I thought, it's like business. And everyone knows this cliched bullshit of suits and graphs and stock photos. Uh, and we're all really familiar with it. And I was like, what if my business was like dating? What if I was in a relationship? What if I was trying to court the people I want to do business with, instead of you know just being a transaction, instead of handing over money for my services. Um, so I kind of thought about Tinder a little bit more. Um, and it's speed dating. And it's exactly what your, your customers are doing. Your customers are going, oh, this is speed dating. You're not the right company for us. You know? like, and it's just transactional. And everything we've done so far has been like lowering the costs of kissing frogs. And I managed to sneak some Comic Sans in here. <laughs> so, Kissing Frogs, PPC, everything has been geared towards transaction, transaction, transaction. But how do you get more value out of it? What happens if you don't want to be a frog? What if you want to differentiate yourself from the average norm? What if there's nothing remarkable about you? Well, there, it's, not a, it's not really like a, a science. It's more like a, an art. Um, and if this slide... So you, everyone's familiar with coffee. And coffee's not a science, but it, it's, it's an art to make a really good one. And I could never do anything like that. So there is a formula that uh, I kind of discovered. And through trial and error and lots of tindering, uh, I came up with this, uh, which you may recognize as a sales and marketing graph. And there is six rules here, or six uh, principles that we have come across. Uh, now, with marketing and automation, I'm going to talk to my Tinder profile. So it says, Biscafine adventurer entrepreneur shouldn't be allowed in rental cars, unhealthy obsession with cheese, no one signing library fans. I know all the difference between there, there, and there. So, <laughs> <laughs> three negative statements, two points of self deprecation, two credibility statements, two food references, one quirky statement about the weather, one large bead picture, 100% true. I don't know how many of you got the miscongeniality reference. So, I'm doing everything here to tell my brand story about myself. And if we compare it back to eBay, eBay, when you search for a DeLorean, they'll do something really fucking sneaky, which is they'll show you every Google search and they'll put it in here. So that's them striking up interest. They do it through the picture, they do it through everything else. How they differentiate it is the biggest and the fucking baddest. Um, you can't stop them. They've got market cap, mobile commerce value. They're just everywhere. The relatability from eBay is... Loading, loading, loading. <laughs> so what they do is they take collections and they um, personalize it. So who's had a newborn baby? Who likes Mad Men? What about the gamer in your life? And they take these collections and they gear them towards you. And they've made it relatable. In terms of credibility, it's always about how much you've sold and what are the positive transactions and feedbacks from it. Uh, and eBay has been one of the first people who introduced relate, uh, credibility in reviews uh, on the internet, um, big behemoth. Entertainment, they gamified it. They gamified everything, it was time left. I don't know if you've ever bid on something, it's fucking stressful. Like, 20 seconds left, someone's gonna outbid me by 50 cent and I'm gonna swear like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so the last part is escalating. eBay will email you right before they want you to do it. Like, they were like, come on, get in this, get in. Like, oh, do you wanna lose out on this item? And they're really, really good at it. God, it's a lot of talking. So anyways, top six components to engagement. If you were to approach how you deal with clients uh, as you were dating them, like not just a one night stand uh, or whatever else, uh, how would you do it? How would you engage your customers as a relationship?
Uh, I'm Mon Barra. Thanks for listening uh, through my rambles. Thank <laughs> you.